Australia, hidden away from the rest of the world for millions of years, this raw, ancient land remains to this day the most isolated and remote continent on Earth. But the Aboriginal people have lived and thrived on this country for thousands and thousands of years. And if they got sick or wounded, this was their chemist. This was their hospital. If medical research today is a method of trial and error, just imagine how much medicinal knowledge Australian Aborigines packed into the 60,000 years of healing they performed before Europeans showed up. And thousands of years later, modern society is only just beginning to tune into the benefits of these natural remedies. So I was curious to learn a little more about how bush medicines worked. And here, five hours north of Adelaide on the aptly named Outback Highway, I think I'm going to get my first insight. Debbie has just said to me, stop, because she needs something. She's seen something in the shrubbery here that I can't see, but she needs it. So I stopped, because I always do what I'm told. <laughs> I'm travelling with Debbie Watson and Francesca Panzeroni, who have established the first mainstream Aboriginal healing clinic in Australia. And this hardy little thatch of native shrub is what we've trekked out to find. Uh, Il Manka Manka is, Manka Manka is a medicinal plant which has been used for thousands of years by the Pichanjara and Kunjara people. Debbie is an elder from the APY lands of Central Australia and a highly respected Nunkari, which means traditional healer. And according to her, the Amanka Amanka is still seen by many older Aboriginal people as their go-to remedy for cold and flus because of its pungent aroma. It's like a... A little bit of eucalyptus. Yes. <laughs> Stress. I relax it like a relaxant. When it comes to bush medicines, our Australian flora is particularly rich in aromatic plants. For instance, eucalyptus was used to treat bruises and fevers and chills. Tea tree is a potent antiseptic and antifungal. And while not an aromatic, billy goat plums, native to the Northern Territory and Western Australia, are in fact the world's richest source of vitamin C. Back in Adelaide and here at Australia's very first native therapy clinic, Debbie is prepping the Amanka Amanka, infusing it into hot oil and beeswax, producing an all-natural, old-school bush rub. I know what it is to feel imbalanced somehow, to just feel like you're not quite aligned. Anxiety, stress, insomnia, always tired. So to think that there's something, a treatment, that can realign me and lift that heaviness that comes from all of those life ailments, that sounds amazing. The knowledge these Nunkari healers use every day in their traditional therapy sessions has been passed down from many generations and is becoming a popular choice for those in the know. I've checked in for a one hour healing session with Debbie and she's giving me the worst. It smells amazing. Nunkari healers believe we have a life force or spirit that runs through our bodies and their healing focuses on aligning that spirit to its harmonic and peaceful centre. Thank you. No worries. Your spirit's all right. My spirit's okay? Yeah, it's That's good to know. Oh. Because Indigenous Australians have always seen well-being as a matter of physical and spiritual health, native medicine has always been a mix of ritual and remedy. But it was only a matter of time before the purity of our bush medicinals were produced in large quantities and made available to all of us at home. Australian corkwood, for instance, supplies almost half the world with a remedy used for motion sickness and was even relieving shell shock during World War II. Kangaroo apples are used in asthma and arthritis medicinals. And when it comes to battling the common cold, Aussie companies like Oil Garden are taking on big name synthetic cold and flu treatments by creating a pure and effective chest rub made from eucalyptus, coconut oil and myrtle. What's being made here is just as natural as what we saw in the outback. The Oil Garden Breathe Easy Chest Rub is a natural and pure alternative uh, 
to chemical chest rubs that are on the market. So there's no petroleum, uh, there's no sulfate, there's no parabens. It is 100% pure and natural. Synthetic treatments are often petroleum based, which can irritate and even increase mucus production in some patients. They can also contain camphor, which, if swallowed, is toxic. More and more parents now are really conscious of what they're putting on their children, um, both on the products that they're using, what they're eating, how you're even cleaning your home. So to use a product that you can pick up, turn over, read the ingredients, really clearly understand what they all are. You can use it really confidently on your children. It's safe, it's gentle, but it's also super effective. As a parent, I'm so happy that now we're living at a time when we have natural alternatives alternatives that are beautiful, they smell amazing, they work, they create a whole different nurturing experience for our children and they're distinctly Australian.